across the ring in the black corner. He represents Predator's Gym. Please welcome Patrick Zah. Patrick Zah of the Predator's Gym. Once again, Combat Fight Series, European title on the line. So for the CFS, English title, isn't it? European, sorry. The European title on European. the line here, Andy. Myself, Danny Kendrick, and Andy Turland in the commentary box. I-S-K-A. <laughs> Officials in the house. Last two fights of the evening and what bangers we have. Yes. Patrick Sarr enters the arena. They very rarely go out of the first round, to be honest. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's get the action started in this co-main event. This bout will be fought for the Pro K1 CFS European title. And it's scheduled for five three-minute rounds of Pro K1 rules in the 85 kilogram division. Once again, let's welcome to the white corner. Entering the ring this evening with a brilliant record of six wins and one defeat. He represents Wizard Muay Thai and Crossface Gym. It's Dewitt Panvin. And he is powerful. And he looks strong, Danny. In the black corner. With a perfect unbeaten record of eight victories and no defeats. He represents Predator's Gym. Please welcome Patrick Zahn. Listen, he's only been training two and a half Your years, this guy. This he's never Mr. been beaten. He ne I don't think he's taken a step backwards since he first started in this sport. He fights under all different rule sets, MMA, everything. This guy just loves to fight. He loves to fight. Yep, he was fighting MMA last time I saw him. He never, Lionheart. ever goes out the first round. The Lionheart against Panfil. Here we go. Andy Manzola in the black corner. Here we go, they run it straight away. Both guys have stoppage power. Nick the Wizard over there in the Wizard Muay Thai corner. Here we go, straight at it. Panfil pushes the action. This will be a fight where Sark cannot just walk forward all the time like he usually Which is. Which is what he's used to yeah. doing, yeah. Panfield won't give him that room. He's got to be a bit more cleverer this time. Looks big, Panfield, as well. He does, yeah. Strong stature. Oh. I've seen both these fighters fight a lot, you know. Oh, he seems to be a bit more busy at that Panfield at the moment. Not letting him get his rhythm. But there he goes with a big power shot. Good combination, Sark there. Hands down to the low kick. Transitions well, but Panfield moves him back. And he's not used to this, Sark, no, is he? Not. No, he's not. He's used he to having it his own way. He likes to dictate the pace. Andy Manzolo tells me he's grown a lot, though, in recent times. I mean, got two, a lot more to his game. Two and a half years of training and he's already 8-0. and oh. I mean, that's uh, it's a, it's a credit to himself as, as it is. Yeah, it's incredible. Incredible character as well. Yeah. I think he's like a lawyer or something as well. He's very clever, this kid. Big puncher. There you go. Look at it now. Left and right lands on the target. And there Goes you go. Sars pushing oh. the action now. This is how he likes it to go. Dishing out the punishment. It's three Panfield minute. calls him on. It's three minute rounds as well, Danny. Yes. Three minute rounds. This is where we want. Professional K1 kickboxing action. Panfield's on the back foot now. European title on the line as well. Uh, Sartre's walking him down now. On the low kick as well though. Sartre's landed some heavy low kicks oh, there. there you go, big knee. Knees to head all allowed. Good boxing, Sartre, you know. Yeah, good. Oh, he's oh, caught him now. Big shot. Panfield's in trouble. He's down. 10-8 round. 
Wow. Yeah, he's not in the neutral corner, sir. So he's going to get extra recovery here. Panfu's in trouble early. So Nick, we, the wizard so in the corner go. giving advice. But Panfu is red alert for him now, isn't it? The nose is bloody. Here we go. Will it go out of the first round, Danny? Listen, this is the most experienced fighter Sartre's had stood in front oh of him. Oh, my goodness me. He's hammering with those long straight punches. The knee goes oh, up right to the, to the head. head. Yeah. He's in trouble, isn't he's he? He's in trouble, Danny. He's in trouble. Oh, he sees the final bell. Oh, the first round bell, sorry. Big yeah. round for Sartre there. Ted, eight round. Listen, I'm surprised it wasn't the final bell at one point. I'm surprised. You know what? But how tired is he? He's breathing heavy in the corner. He is breathing in the corner, but, but we know he's strong. Panfield's in trouble he on the stall trouble. there. Yeah. They're going to work on his lead left leg, which has been hammered by Sar. Been great hand combinations, the low kicks, hasn't it? Yes. Proper good K1 style. Just before this fight happened, when we knew they were about to walk out, I looked around at the three judges on the table and I was like, what the hell are you three doing here? There's no place for you people on fights like yeah. this. And already it's, it's true to his word. Yes. So round two coming up, three minutes of K1 action. I don't see it going past round two. Round two. Patrick, the Lionheart Sark delivered really well now in that first round and it's just small margins that make big big moments in fights but is he used to coming out of the first or second round that's the question has he got the condition has he got the cardio yeah listen these boys train really hard at the they do you know, they you do know i know that the yeah work in, yeah i know they do yeah panfer will as well and listen i've seen panfer knocked out i've seen him get up i've seen him win fights i've seen him knock people out I've seen it all from him, to be honest. I've seen him get knocked out himself. Warrior Brown fighter, Danny. Yes. Say. Chris Bachador saved him. Referee caught him when he got knocked out cold. Oh, I think I saw that, yeah. yeah. Landed on him like a cushion. Mm. I think Sartre's uh, Smart, being a bit more clever this time. He's not gassed himself out. He's picking his shots. It's um, not panic station, is it, for no, him? No, no. He seems comfortable in there. Those hands are just dynamite, aren't they? Yeah, Sartre's very accurate, isn't he? Very accurate. He's just going to box his way through this now. Look, big low kick again to finish. That's great, K1. Look at the lead uh, leg of Panfield. It's sore, isn't it, now? Do you think he can stop him on that, Andy? I think he could do if he went to work on it, yeah. I think Panfield's the sort of guy that would still walk forward with a broken leg, though. Still challenging with those punches yeah, as well. Still coming forward. Nice little trick there. Yeah, lovely right hand from Panfield. Oh, lovely kick score. as well. Oh, there we go. Clean shots, aren't they? Lovely. This is professional. This is good. This is the business end of the card, though, Danny. So this is what we expect. The pace has tied down a little bit here. Gum shields yeah, come out. Have they got five threes, haven't they? Yeah, yeah five threes. Five threes. Wow, it's wow. a long time. It was a hectic first round. A lot of energy expended there. And that's why I think Sartre uh, slowed down a little bit. Picking his shots, realising he's got Ooh, five rounds. Makes him miss and makes him pay. Good but look at that leg. Look at that leg. I like the way Sartre throws his right hand. It's a really good execution punch. Dynamite punch. and power there. Lovely leg. And he kick. ends on the leg every time, doesn't he? Panfield goes out to the centre of the ring. Throws a high kick. Good combination work Lovely. himself. Check now he's that low kick. Yeah, he has to, doesn't he? Has to. Look at the markings on that, Danny, now. That's sore. Oh, big shot. Yeah, there's the right hand, the right hook on the inside from Sartre. Being a bit patient, Sartre, which is good. Lovely low kick. Oh, and again. That leg's going to go, Danny. I can see it. I just don't think anything bothers Panfield, you know, yeah. you've got to put him to sleep, otherwise, otherwise he'll yeah. never stop coming at you. He's coming, look at the hand combinations back there. Brilliant from Panfield, brilliant from Sartre. It's like any old Monty oh Python goodness, films dude, when they it. cut all their legs and arms off <laughs> and they st still want to come forward. They're those sort of characters. Yeah. Wow, round two finished. Yeah, what listen, a the, fight. The pace has gone down from round one. They opened up so hard. 
but they know they've got five rounds, Danny. So yes. They've got to. Otherwise, they're going to gas themselves out, and whoever's trained hard is going to win. Let's give massive, massive, massive respect Reddit. to Panfield massive and all the Reddit. Wizard Corner here. Awesome. He's taking punishment on that leg, but he's checking them now. Yep. Nick Wilson in the corner, just trying to calm him now, to calm his fighter, get him ready to come out. He's very technical, uh, Wilson. Panfield's cardio looks quite good. You see uh, Sass yeah. puffing. Oh, these guys Panfield's are ready. Quite, uh, these guys are ready. Yeah, for sure. 100%. No, good to see. This is what you expect, though, at this level. You don't expect anything different. If that was me now, I'd be chopping Panfield's leg straight off. I'd be coming out and just laying it down. The only problem when you've got these type of fighters as well, Andy, though, if you concentrate too much on that, one Panfield thing. tread on one of them and hit you with something hard through the middle, you know? Yeah. So that's a risk element, isn't there? Yeah, of course there is. Panfield looks light on his legs he despite does. the damage. Despite look. the damage he does, like you said. Uh, but Danny. when you're... It, look, you shouldn't tread light on the muscle because you need to keep it moving. Keep it strong, yeah. Yeah. Keep it moving. Keep it warm. Don't let it seize up. Sartre's got bruising on the face as well. He has, yeah. Yeah, and they're slowing quite down a little bit. Nice inside low kick. These guys have gone technical for a couple of minutes. Wow. This is unknown territory for them both, isn't it, I think? <laughs> I think the judges are now getting their scorecards out and going, we might have something to do here. We might have to earn a living here tonight at the Combat Fight Series. Oh, Panfield's nice recovered. combination by Panfield, yeah. He's checking those leg kicks as well now, which is what he needs to be doing. Tough. I was starting, now I'll be faking body hook low kick, you know, mixing it up a little bit. Yes. Tough, nice tough from Panfield. Nice really from Panfield. Are. Yep. It's good work. Lead kick goes up high. And on again. Hart. He's scoring, he's winning this round, Panfield. Yeah, he is, yeah. So I'll let him off a little bit. Panfield wants the war. Panfield wants to get that eight count on his opponent as well, try and even the score a bit. So it's going to work a little bit more now. It's like he almost takes the first minute of the first of the rounds off, doesn't he? So he can not get the next two two minutes to be busy. Panfield's game plan's changed. He's he's uh, tagging and moving, isn't he? He's moving around a lot more now. Yeah, checking the kicks as well. Look, he'll score, then he'll move out the way. Watch. It's how it's going to be. Good check as well there by Panfield. And a good kick inside back. Oh, and a big rib kick. Is this a good game plan from the Wizard Muay Thai I think corner? it is, yeah. I think they've had to adjust. Yes. Nice hook there from Panfield. Nice jab through the centre as well. This is the hardest fight Sartre's had in front of him. Oh, 100%. He's walked for everybody before. Nice right hand, though. He's very accurate in his punches. Nice from Panfield there. Again, like I said, uh, punching and moving. Clean on the leg. Sartre's leg doesn't look too clever He's on oh, his own. Big shot. Panfield's coming back in this round. Is Sartre hurting there, do you think? No, I think he yeah. Could well have done. I think it's a realisation that his fighters have grown in front of him here and he's on a bigger stage now. Yeah, they, of course. It happens to us all, doesn't it, Danny, you know? Yep. The opponents get better, get and, better, better. and better. Better and better. You got to keep evolving and evolving, and this is it now for Patrick. We all want to test ourselves against the very, very best, and that's what make the fighters. Lovely round. I Good think round for Panfield for, yeah, for me, hundred percent. And, and, and what a what a change of game plan. You know, 10-8 round in the first round. You've got to say maybe start Nick that second round. Yeah. And then yeah, ten nine round surely for Panfield there. And obviously ten nine. Yeah. So yeah, two more rounds. Wow, set up, isn't it? Could be, uh, you know, how starts cardio. Panfield looks calm as a cucumber. Cool as a cucumber. He's calm, he's relaxed, he's in the corner, he's yeah, getting he's structure. enjoying it. He's enjoying it. Really good fight. Sartre took his foot off the gas a little bit there. Andy Manzolo looks in the opposite corner to see what his opponent's like. They're very relaxed there. He needs to up his product again now. He needs to come out busy now. He's possibly two rounds ahead, so yes, you know. 
He can't just let it slip this is now. Round four. He needs to keep putting points on that ball. Panfield's lively. Yeah, Despite he's all lively. that damage on his lead leg, he's just skipping around like Like he's you said, hurt. Danny, you have to chop his arms and legs off for him to finish. Yes. And now he's going to the leg and up high. Superb courage, determination from Heart and determination David Panfield that. here. Natural fighters in the ring here. Here we go. Kick on the end of that would be. Superb. Sark throws combinations of punches. Panfield throws a hook and pivots his way out of trouble from the corner. Which is good now. Sark's Great, literally yeah. boxing now. Where's the kicks gone? He's going to be confident that he's still got that knockdown on those cards in the 10 8 of rounds. Course. The title's in the black corner as it stands. He doesn't want to do anything silly. I'm sure his corner will say, concentrate. This guy's a heavy hitter. Heavy hitter Don't beat. let him even that card. Stick and be stick. Sartre's accurate with his shots, but his head's getting whacked back every time he steps close to Panfield. Muay Thai rules, of course, for the scoring. Oh, professional K1. Yes, yeah, K1, I yeah, think. Yeah, they're fighting under K1, the K1 yeah. rule set. We've had heavyweights fighting under the uh, Muay Thai rule set today. Of course, yeah, this is the combat fight series K1 rules European title. Yeah, and the ISKA judges do score a lot of K1 bouts as well. ISKA representing on the actual K1 today. Paul Nichols refereeing over okay. there in Japan. Yeah, yeah. Oh, of course it is, yeah. Oh, Big shot! Wow. That is the corner, you go! Oh, this my. fight is even as it stands! I don't know if Patrick Sarr oh, is going to get up! It's me, it's done! Wow. This fight's over! Wow! You said it, Danny! David Panfield has just laid it down on the Combat Fire Series stage! It's the first Absolutely. time Sarr has ever oh, been tagged like that! He's never felt that in his life! Wow, what power and what a comeback from being 10 8 down! I said Absolutely it, I brilliant. I said it before this fight started. I said it. What the hell, the hell are the judges doing power. here? They didn't need to earn their money that round. Wow, what an absolute barnstormer. What a comeback. Mm. That's uh, Patrick Sarr picks himself up from the canvas. The bitter taste of, of a defeat. defeat. It's the first time he's felt it. He's a fantastic character, Patrick Sarr. Lovely guy. I think that's going to be a big lesson for him. It is, yeah. He, he let him off. He took his foot off the gas a little bit. But it's the levels, Danny. Fault. I'm getting left alone here. I've got a chance to recover. He recovered. He's a warrior brand fighter. This is a naturally violent character here. A natural fighter. That's brilliant. Absolutely wonderful stuff. And for come from behind like that, warrior. absolute credit to where his credit's due. Warrior. What a what an opponent to knock out as well. Big Nick big Wilson. power. You said it, Danny. You said it. You, Nick you Wilson called it. is well happy there. We have ourselves a new combat fight series professional K1 rules kickboxing champion. I told you. What a shot. I told you. Uh, I told you, Andy. Panfield. Either gets knocked out himself, knocks you out, but whatever happens, someone's head is bouncing Steps off the off canvas, canvas every time this guy and enters look the ring. Happened. Yeah, absolute wicked. When you when you said it, Danny, I didn't think he did have the power to start had. And then when he's just done that now, wow, absolutely brilliant. He's a big, big, strong guy. I love seeing characters like yeah, this. Brilliant. Brilliant. It Gentlemen, makes it, doesn't it? A fantastic contest. Let's hear it for both these title warriors. Come on! Well, this contest was brought to a close. Two minutes and seven seconds into round number four. Let's hear it for your winner by KO and new Pro K1 CFS European Champion, Darwin Pampel. And your unbelievable runner up, Patrick Zahn.
David, come here, my friend. Spit that gum shield out. Wow. Everybody in these three tiers here at the O2 Arena have just experienced something absolutely phenomenal. Guys of your size hitting each other that hard, bounced off the canvas. I said before, what the hell are these three guys doing here, these judges? Because they're not needed in fights like this. How did you recover from the first shot? Oh, oh amazing, guys. To be honest, it. Yeah, the first, the first shot, the first round, was woke me up. But, woke you up? Wow, well, so I'm a tough, tough, I'm a tough boy. Tough boy You're a very, very tough boy. So, yeah, I'm just, uh, well, that's my dual guy, you know what I mean? So, yeah, I did it, I did it. I'm CFS, you're the way champion. You are CFS champion. Patrick Sark has had a very short career. He's only done this two and a half years. He's beaten everyone who stood in front of him cold. I said you're the hardest opponent he's had so far. He's had a lesson today from you. What do you want to say to your opponent? Well, to be honest, it surprised me the first one I've ever said. And yeah, I'm underestimating him as well. For some, I've got like two years of experience. So we're good to fight with a guy who's, I don't know, every two months, I mean, so no matter, I had their breaks. Uh, I, I dropped like a 35 kilos in the last two years, and then back to my mama division. Because in the last year, I've been fighting against like a heavy guys, like a Chris Brundel, Kat Hesh from Hungaria, uh, Tom Song, Kosti, there's a the guys for phenomenal, a very tough performance. So yeah, I said, listen, you have to, Get yourself together and drop the weight down and, and there we go, here I am. You've been in there with the heavy hitters, you're down to a weight class, you're going to be very, very dangerous. Someone is always going to bounce off the canvas when this guy's in the house, whether it's you or them, it's war. Just quickly for your team and everyone who's followed you here today. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Just quickly, what do you want to say to all your team, everyone who's followed you? Uh, I want to say thank you for my, for my wife. My mum, my, my dad as well, which is here as well. The drive, drive, drive from, from Harrow is a long way to get here. Also my, my coach, Nick, which is, I've been training with like the uh, last eight years. And he motivates me just every single day, just to train, fight, train, fight, do it because you love this. And also our coach, David, uh, my MMA coach, uh, which has motivated me as well in the last six, six months. And, and yeah. Go. Well, it's going to get harder, my friend. I know that the promoter, Rory Crawford, will be lining you up for someone very strong to defend this title on the Combat Fight Series stage. Everyone here in the O2, please give a massive round of applause once more for your champion here.